In this video, I'm going to be breaking down how I like to defend tight doubles or tight offset tight end formations compression uh, with the cover four quarters defense in Madden 21. What's up guys, my name is Cody and I want to thank you so much for taking the time to watch this video. Now, if you're new to the channel and you may not know what the channel is about, my channel is all about how to become a better Madden player in Madden 21. And one of the ways that we try to help you guys to become better players is basically as we learn new things in this game, we like to share them with you on our YouTube channel here. So if you haven't subscribed yet, it's completely free to subscribe. I also want to encourage you that if you want to know whenever we release a uh, new video, you can hit that subscribe button, but you can also turn on on your notifications at the bottom right hand corner of your screen now uh, one of the formations that we're talking about today is the tight offset tight end out of the green bay packers playbook to be honest with you this is probably the one formation that has given me the most amount of difficulty in the last couple of weeks uh, since i've been basically going to a lot more of the cover four quarter style of defense and so i want to share with you as to why um, in this video so I'm going to start with kind of the problem and then I'm going to work through to the solution. Now, if you have any questions about uh, what we're doing in this video, go ahead and shoot me a text message. My cell phone number is 208-218-6900. And if you want to, you can actually, by texting me, you'll be able to get my um, cover four match defense that I released into my text message membership this last week um, completely for free. All you have to do is text the word Madden to my new cell phone number, which is 208-218-6900. Um, that's also in the description for you as well. Now, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going from 335 down to 335 wide. I actually have a full ebook on the 335 wide defense and why it's the best defense in the game for just 15 bucks if you want to get that in the description. But the play we're going to be focusing in on is the cover four show, too. As you see, I have it on my audibles here. And this is actually, it might look like a drop coverage, it's actually a match coverage uh, from the 335. Uh, wide formation. Now, I just want to kind of start with the problem. So uh, if you look on the right side of your screen here, I want you to watch and I'm just going to run a corner route from the play bench here. So you're going to see I'm going to put Robert Tunyon here on a corner route and I want you just to kind of watch how the defense plays him. You see there that the outside quarter goes with the outside corner route. Okay. Now what I want you to do is I want you to watch the left side and this is where the biggest issue lies uh, within this formation. So if I were to go to the play uh, cover four show two, I want you to now watch Devontae Adams. I have the same route combination pretty much. And now on the left side, you're going to see that Devontae Adams has a pretty good chance at getting this over the top for a one play score. Um, it's even better out of a play uh, that is called the drive out. Um, you see this little drive out play right here. This play right here is really the cover four quarters killer. You're going to notice here that because Devontae Adams route um, goes longer and deeper, then by the time that match coverage gets on him, that route tech will light up. And as you can see right there, King's man-to-man -man on him, and he can't do a thing about that. And that's a one-play touchdown against cover four quarters. Not a good look for the defense. So really the issue lies in this right here. Um, the biggest issue is that for whatever reason, this outside quarter, because the 83 about a scaling, because this, this guy is running a vertical route to the flat, he is going to be able to basically hold that outside quarter, leaving this man right here, Devontae Adams, one-on-one -on -one over the top, and that's not a good look for any defense right there with Devontae Adams one-on-one. -on -one. So there's a couple things that you can try to do to basically solve this problem. Um, you see, it's not really a problem on the right side, and I want to show you real quickly. Uh, I just want to flip the play on both sides uh, and I want you to watch this would be if the play was flipped what would happen so once again I'm in that cover four um, this is now flipped to the this side and what you're gonna notice here is let's just take a look at what happens with Robert Tunyon up the seam you're gonna see that same kind of thing happens and even the tight end can beat that quarter for whatever reason it's kind of a, a glitch within the short side of the quarter defense or, or what I would say the weak side um, of the quarter defense right because what you're noticing here is it's interesting because the strong side of the of the formation is technically to my opinion the right side but because the uh there's two wide receivers on the left side that's where it's causing a little bit of a problem within the match coverage so um, let me show you one other thing really quickly here i'm gonna i'm gonna move the ball uh to this left hand side here and i'm gonna call the play bench and i'm gonna flip the play Okay, so I just want you to see this real quick. Uh, again, I'm in cover four show two. Obviously we flipped this play um, because it would auto flip coming out of the line of scrimmage. 
And if we if we call that um, cover four shot two, you're going to see here now. If you watch that triangle receiver, completely different defense is going to play. As you see right there, you're going to play properly. So you're left with this kind of honestly just a little bit of a predicament. Like what do you do? Um, because it's basically whichever side the slot corner is on, that's what's causing some problems for the defense. So, uh, for example, if I were to go to the play cover four show two again, and then if I man line and press, you're going to see that it creates a completely different defense. Now, by man line and pressing, you see it does bring your user out of the middle of the field, and we'll talk about that in just a second. But I want to show you the same combination. I want to show you this drive out combination, and here you're going to see same issue happens no matter what. Okay, you're going to get that over the top. So it's not a matter of realigning your defense. It's literally just a, a glitch within that side, that specific side of the defense. Okay, so um, what we're going to have to basically figure out is how do we deal with that? And to be honest with you, it's actually not that complicated. Um, essentially, what you're going to be doing is you're going to be basically hedging your bet. So what you're going to do here is you're going to come out in the same defense. Now, what I like to do, um, especially against tight offset tight end, is I'm going to turn auto flip off and I'm going to explain why in just a moment. But if I know that I'm, fa I'm facing a lot of compression sets, in my opinion, it kind of messes with the auto flipping. So I'm going to turn that auto flip off. The next thing that I'm going to do when we come out here, I'm going to show you a couple things. Uh, but we're going to start with the, the PA seams play because this really is the problem uh, where you have so many vertical threats. What do you do with them all, right? So uh, go down to cover four show two. And now I just want you to watch. So auto flip is completely off. And I just want you to watch. Should, everything should happen, and that triangle receiver should get wide open. As you see right there, it gets wide open, so it doesn't really matter that auto flip is off. The, the reason that it matters, in my opinion, is because it, it, it allows you to set the play up whether they flip their play or not. So, for example, again, I want to go over this real quick here. So, if I go to cover four, show two, right? And let's say they flip the play. Now, I want you to watch this, the X, uh, X receiver here, Robert Tunyon. You're going to see that they should play fairly properly, um, but they actually they end up not playing properly on that side. So wherever they flip, that's where the issue is going to have to happen. Uh, it's basically opposite side of the running back is where the, the big problem lies. Okay, so whether you have auto flip on, it doesn't really matter, but it, I like having it off just because most of the time you're going to see this this look right here. So anyways, a um, couple things you can do. So first thing you can do is you can man up onto the triangle receiver, right? That's the first step that I would do. I would man up on the slot. The problem with that is if he has a route tech ability as Devontae Adams does, oftentimes he will beat that coverage. Um, now what I would recommend is putting one step ahead on that. That would kind of counter out that in mutt. In regs, you're not gonna have that luxury. So that's why compression is so powerful in regs. So the next thing that we can do, and really the next best thing that we could really do out of this, is we're gonna take the, the cornerback opposite of the running back, okay? So not the cornerback on the right, because we don't have an issue on the right. We have an issue on the left side. So I'm gonna take Perry Nickerson, the square corner, and I'm gonna put him into an outside third. What you're gonna notice is by putting him into an outside third now, he is going to help on that route, and then that quarter flat is taking the only other player that can go to the flat on that side of the field. The only other player that can go to the flat on that side of the field is indeed the 83 receiver. Obviously the running back or the cross routes or stuff like that, but from a matching perspective to, to stop the one play touchdown by simply outside 30, you're gonna be successful. Now, um, one of the things you might be concerned about is what if they do something like this combination right here, where it's kind of an outside third glitch. As you see right here, they play it properly. It's really only on the cut that we have an issue. And as long as we can solve that cutting issue, then we're gonna be in a lot of, we're gonna have a lot more success. So now let's go to a play that is very popular out of this formation. Let's go to the play Y out. And uh, what we're gonna simply do here is we're just gonna call it as is. I mean, I don't think there's really anything you have to really do uh, to this, but I just wanna call it as is. And again, we're gonna use that outside third little tactic on that right side. And I just want you to watch how this plays. You might be worried about the poster over top, but as you see here, properly covers pretty much everything and you're throwing that into um, a, covered, a covered defender, okay? So that's that's kind of where i would start with this formation this obviously isn't the only uh route combination that they can run but this is the route combination in my opinion that causes quarters the most amount of problems um and so you want to kind of limit the problems if you can if you can kind of limit the problems you're going to have a lot more success so you see here just a simple outside third on that right side 
and then now as you can see we're able to play proper quarters coverage everything matches accordingly and you're able to box one of the best offenses in madden 21 so this isn't completely how to stop this formation but this is just a starting point to get your quarters to play better basically the opposite side of the running back you want to put that corner into an outside third now really quickly here what if they flip the formation on you at the line of scrimmage okay so let's say that they are in the play drive out and let's say they flip it all you're going to do is you're going to quickly outside quarter your outside guy and outside third the other side okay and, and that's now the circle receiver but as you can see here it solves the problem over here as well you're going to be able to stop that corner route so this in my opinion is one of the most important things that you can learn about your defense is again i talk about it all the time you have to know you have to have to know where your defense is weak if you know where your defense is weak and where your problems are then you can work to kind of over protect them and you can work to kind of hedge your bets but as you see right there we're going to be able to get out there most of the time perry nickerson ended up not able to get out there on that play but generally will um you know generally we'll be able to get out there on that route now again that doesn't excuse and then what i would do is honestly just man this guy up on the left side it's going to help with the totality of everything you're going to be able to have a lot more sound coverage uh and then again if they go to something like a mesh spot you know now you don't have to worry about that deep route you just have to take Devonte adams and as you see that quarter flat's going to match it right up the seam so that's a little bit about how to stop tight offset this isn't the entire defense but this is a starting point if you want to get my full nickel 335 wide defense it's available for just 15 bucks in the description of this video so go ahead and take that a look at that defense if you want to pick it up if you want to get my cover four match one hour tutorial go ahead and text the word madden to my new cell phone number 208 218-6900. I want to thank you for your time. I hope you enjoyed the video. And I also want to invite you to come to the stream tonight. We stream Madden 21 gameplay every night at 10 o'clock p.m. Eastern time. Thanks for your time, guys.